How are you? Admittedly, 2020 has been hard. You know, in the last few years, I think all of us have been grieved by trials of various kinds, relationship issues, parenting woes, physical illness, uh, divorce, depression, financial loss, job loss, suicide, cancer, persecution, death of loved ones, and just many unforeseen circumstances. My own family has been touched by every single thing on that list such that it it sort of feels like these sorrows, these disappointments have all culminated into this banner year of 2020. Honestly, I have wrestled this summer with despair. I found myself weeping. There was one night where I was weeping and waving a a, a white flag of surrender saying, or crying out, Lord, please, no more. And so friend, that's why I ask, and I really, I do wonder, how are you in the midst of this year's trials? Are you overflowing with joy and peace and contentment and hope? I have friends who are. Or have you too found yourself on the verge of despair, fraught with anxiety and fear? I have friends who are. In preparation for our fall Bible study, I've learned that the early church, they really, they were no different from us. Plagued by trials of various kinds, Peter knew that his flock, they would be prone to fear and worry and anxiety. And so Peter wrote to them, he wrote letters to remind them of what, of hope, a living hope. I literally laughed out loud one morning and began worshiping God as I realized that this variety of trials we face, friends, it's our portfolio. It's it's proof. Our trials prove our faith. Is our faith real? How can we know? Well, we can know by how we walk through these trials and trials of various kinds. So yes, joy, the joy of our salvation, of knowing Jesus, it will be intermingled with grief and with trials. But these trials are temporary. I promise you, 2020 will come and go. This earthly life will come and go. And so this is why we study. We study God's word so that we might know him, the one who remains, and to know hope. Friend, I'm so excited to invite you to join us for our Simply Bible study of First and Second Peter. Together, we will unite our hearts with Christ and we'll unite with one another and we will be encouraged by Peter's message of hope. I hope you'll join me. <laughs> no pun intended. I really do hope you'll join me. We begin September 9th and I look forward to seeing you there.